Whenever it's early twilight I'll watch till a star breaks through Funny, it's not a star I see It's always you Whenever I roam through roses And lately I often do Well, funny, it's not a rose I touch it's always you well if a breeze caresses me it's merely you strolling by if i hear a melody it's merely the way you sigh Wherever you are, you're near me And dare me to be untrue Funny each time I fall Hello, my fitties. I am filming this from Vernon BC, British Columbia, Canada. That is the west coast of Canada. And I'm in the small town of Vernon, which is a suburb of Kelowna, which is a five hour drive from Vancouver, which I have visited in 2018. And there is a whole playlist for my Vancouver travel diaries when I was here for th four, four days and three nights. And that was awesome. I got invited uh, here, out here, by a few friends. Um, some marvelous, wonderful people. I have never dreamed that I was going to be traveling again so soon. Um, granted, it's still in within Canada, the, my country, um, and I wanted to go back to Europe and set up home base somewhere and then travel around to all these beautiful countries like Spain and France and Italy and Norway and Scandinavia. Um, but I'm just happy to be here on Christmas slash the Christmas holidays. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I'm not close with my family and I don't have any close friends or family. And that has been, um, I think, bittersweet, a little bit bittersweet and a little bit hard. Well, not, not a little bit, very hard, very hard. Um, but over the years, I feel like I got better and better with just being and accepting and forgetting the fact that it was Christmas and it's, it's whatever, it's just another day in my life of being me and doing whatever I'm doing, except everybody else is busy. With their own families so um i was invited on a whim to come spend time with two amazing amazing uh generous loving beautiful friends and i'm staying with them for a little bit over a week before going back to toronto a little too soon for my liking um but um yeah i'm grateful to, to be here i've never been to vernon i've never been outside of Vancouver for that one time that I went to, that I came to British Columbia. It was a nightmare getting here actually. So my flight, I missed it. I missed the connecting flight because my previous flight was late. That was a mess. <laughs> Tip and trick, it gets very busy over the holidays. Be very, very patient with the stewardess. If there are certain rules and regulations that, that have you going through the regular protocols of how to rebook and uh, what your next steps are in terms of finding accommodation for the night and when you're going to be there and la da 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 da. Stay in line. Keep staying in line. Even if they tell you to do something else, there's another like website or something. Stay in line and wait to talk to the stewardess to see if they can look specifically into your case. And that's what I did because I, I nearly did not make it here on Christmas Eve. I made it here at 12 a.m. but my biological clock for my biological clock it was 3 a.m. and I was tired AF I was I had a, a headache I was anxious I was so tired I was sleep deprived I was nauseous and not sure if I was hungry at the same time I just wanted to stab someone or pass out but I made it 
and people have had worse experiences, so I don't think I should be complaining. Um, and I'm here, I'm here. And what I'm doing here, just having a good time, laughing with friends, talking about deep spiritual stuff, playing some board games. And I think this is as close to as what a real Christmas I imagine would ever feel like so far. Like in those movies. I'm so used to on Christmas uh, actually crying because I'm lonely. Or I don't think about the fact that it's Christmas. I just go outside and I pretend it's like any other day. I'm just listening to my um, podcasts. So this Christmas is so special. I have the world to thank. It's funny how the universe gives us gifts in very, very special ways. Wrapped up in a different kind of wrapping paper and present it to us and it's not what we expect even though even though it's what we've been in a way asking for so here i am this is not not my bedroom this is one of my friends airbnbs temporarily and we're over at their place um, yeah, that's a little update for me for Christmas. Also, every year, I think you've already seen um, from my uploads, I go around the neighborhood and I knock on people's doors. I knock on strangers' doors and I offer them a baked good. And this year it was chocolate muffins. And I offer to sing them a Christmas carol in the spirit of Christmas. And I love doing this every single year. And every single year, there's always people that are suspicious. Um, like I want something from them or there's something I, I spiked these muffins with something a little extra special uh, but no I just do it out of the goodwill of, of Christmas and I I give what I feel like I want to receive and so that would be love and acknowledgement and connection and joy and merriment and um, magic magic so much magic so much magic so this is my these are my holidays. You're going to see within these next few B-rolls of me spending time with friends, uh, some sites around Vernon. I don't really know what's around here. Things I do. I'm uh, doing a few calls here and there online. And I am also keeping up with emails and all of that. I also teach English online. Uh, flexible part-time pays less than minimum wage, but it pays for a little bit of the groceries, a little bit. And I'm grateful for that, for that flexibility. So yeah, it's um, different. I'm blessed. It's what I need. It's a little bit scary, but it's good. All is well. All is fine. Get out of your head. Look, if you can't go outside and do some cardio, I'm going to stay inside and do some dancing. It's the end of the year Everywhere on TV Couples and Christmas trees Gift wrapping and cheer Just the worst time to be with her, someone special Hello, hello! We're at a board game cafe, the only board game cafe in Vernon, and they have a French section. Ça va être le meilleur. Je veux pratiquer plus de mon français. Est-ce que vous parlez français? Uh, comment below. <laughs> Je suis très excitée pour ça. I'm walking in the snow, cold hands and mittens. I dream of December nights, kissing under bright lights, snowflakes in my head, carols playing in the air. I dream of December nights, kissing under bright lights, red bow in my head, sleigh bells in the air. The only thing I miss is you, darling. You, yep, I'm 
past few days I've been more so sitting on my bum being indoors um, as opposed to being outside and getting my movement which is something that would normally drive me crazy but I'm sitting with the anxiety I'm sitting with the thoughts of saying I'm not okay if I don't move and if I'm not in the fresh air I'm not in the cold and instead I'm working on being what's present in front of me which is not those thoughts but the person in front of me, the movie in front of me, the images in front of me, the conversations that I'm hearing and drinking up with my ears and having wonderful um, synchronicities with. Um, so that's been shifting for me because I don't want to have to use anything as a clutch to feel okay, including healthy things like exercise and movement. So this has definitely been uh, different and I, I really can't wait to get outside to spend most of my day outside again, um, but I will, I will be appreciative with what I currently have. As you can see, we played some board games the other day and mozzarella is not a pizza topping. Mozzarella is already on the pizza. Please tell that to my British cranium partner who insisted that mozzarella was a topping. No, it's not. It was a lot of fun. I want to play more board games. I want to learn more board games. I want to play Werewolf, but we didn't have enough people. It's okay. Um, slash Mafia. That's always a, a game where friendships end and you make friends with your enemies. So that's, that's always a fun game. You don't even need cards with that one. I am feeling so thankful. For the snow, for the snow. Um, I'm wondering for you, is there any tendencies that you have that you have somehow convinced yourself you are, you're unable to function without? For example, I can't sleep without my sleep mask. Or, I don't know, like my shoes have to be in a certain order before I go out the door, otherwise it's not okay. I, I don't know, I'm just making these things up. These little like limitations of thinking like we can't take another route and still try to do the same thing I don't know for me I do what's comfortable and what's familiar and sometimes that feels a little rigid so I want to know down below in the description what it is that what's something that you've convinced yourself of that you're you're kind of maybe thinking I know it's silly and maybe I should just kind of get over it and see another way of living because there is
can't run, but this is a so total yes if it stays, if it stays. A free shower. I've been running away. I've been innocently confused. I've been lied to. I've been lying to myself. Of what beauty truly is. <sighs> There's so many voices in my head. I don't want to believe this anymore. <sighs> Why don't I believe that? Why is this so hard to believe? Why do I feel like I need fixing? <sighs> Why do I feel like I need to purge myself? It's a different way of being. I want to see it. I want, I want to see it. I want to see it. I need to see it. This is not the way to live. It is not. It is not. It is not. It is not. <sighs> I'm angry. At myself. It's 
It is New Year's Eve, and I'm helping out um, a brand new kitchen set up their, I guess, grand opening. Um, there's a lot that we could do since they're they newly half renovated some of their space, and I'm just helping clean out the back. So can't wait for the party tonight. And what is what is this called? This is the Boar's Nest. The so Boar's Nest. Boar's Nest, uh, a private membership association. A private membership association, PMA structure is different than a business or a corporation because it now has a sovereign status. And a big part of what the government does is tries to implement checks and balances called permits and licensing. And in permits and licensing, what really happens is there is a skewed sense of security, for lack of a better word, mm. but uh, and trust. Mm -hmm. because, uh, Canada used to have some of the best food safe laws around the planet up until 2003, 2004, where Stephen Harper uh, changed them. So mm -hmm. now, instead of being able to read your ingredient list and knowing exactly what's in your food, they have certain terms like natural flavor or natural color or spices. Well, I see. Now MSG falls into the category of a spice. I see. Okay. But MSG is toxic. I see. And yes. Most people that want to eat organic will never eat MSG, but you don't know because it's just a okay. spice now, right? So mm. it's a little bit of yeah, 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 fuckery, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna forego one of my uh, New Year resolutions to stop being so rigid with my diet and exercise routine because it's making me a little bit uh, anxious. So actually, when everyone is trying to get to the gym and exercise more, I'm gonna try to see if I can just exercise less. Three proper workouts per week, proper. And then the rest of the time, doesn't matter. I could, uh, I probably do wanna get in some movement, but it doesn't have to be a, a workout. So that's my um, unconventional New Year resolutions. <sighs> I'm spending it with some lovely people today. Yeah. It's an apple. You don't like apple? Yeah, it's yummy. Oh, you're gonna leave me? What? You don't like the apple. I was gonna have it. I actually wasn't. I don't like wasting food. 